Welcome. <laughs> Tonight, three women have been picked at random from the American public. <laughs> One of them will wave embarrassedly. Go <laughs> we'll check them out. <laughs> Ladies, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. You first, young lady. Lynn from Chicago. Chicago, Illinois? Illinois. I know it. Yes. I'm Michelle. I'm from L.A. Oh. <laughs> and you are? I'm Lindsay, and I'm from San Marino, California. San Marino, kind of California? Of where part of California is that? The... Like, kind of near Pasadena, like, you know, the Rose Bowl. It's kind of near there, but... Yeah. Sounds like L.A. to me. <laughs> Oh, San Marino. No. How did you get here? What flight did you get from San Marino to Los Angeles? Anyway, well, welcome. Uh, are any of you actresses? Nope. No. no. Good. Are any of you criminals? No. What do you do for a living? I work for a dental insurance company. Oh. In Illinois. I'm a... Um, I'm a student at Cal State Long Beach. Uh-huh. What are you studying? Pre-accounting. Pre-accounting? Absolutely. <laughs> Is that like you spend all your money and then worry about it? What is pre-accounting? It's like you either do accounting or you don't do it. That's it, isn't it? What's pre-accounting? Counting? Absolutely accounting. <laughs> oh, no, no, you, how do you do pre-accounting? I genuinely don't know. No, it's just that the first two years of college, everyone's a pre until this last year of college, everyone's, you know, their major. Do you know, this whole college <laughs> thing is a racket. <laughs> and, finally... Um, I'm a student at Ohio Wesleyan University. Oh, that's nice. So, what are you yeah. studying? I want to be a journalism major. Journalism? Mm -hmm. That's calling. <laughs> no journalists anymore. I think there's, I think there's one at CNN. Christiane Amanpour, that's about it, isn't it? <laughs> Last it's one. Couple. Yeah. Do you want to go and do uh, war stories and stuff? You know, maybe. Just go with the flow, you know? <laughs> yep, you're a Californian, all right. Okay. So, ladies, if you can answer this question correct, and I have a feeling you will, oh. we will send you... <laughs> a fancy restaurant called Craig's. Craig's. That's a good restaurant, actually. Nothing to do with me. It's actually good. And we'll say, have you brought anyone with you from Chicago? Um, I'm visiting my daughter. She moved here to LA. So. Oh. I'm visiting for two weeks. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's working and she's. Oh, she's working. Oh, good. That's great. And that's why she couldn't be here this exactly. evening. I didn't really ask any of that. <laughs> anyway, the question is. The question is, what is the famous, the most famous hot dog uh, store in Chicago? Portillo's. Is the correct answer. You're going to Craig's. You're all three of you going to go and send you all and everybody who came with you. Who came with you? You, did you could? Yeah, we came together. We came together. Oh, and that's it? Yeah. Well, you can go to the restaurant and you can take your daughter. I know she can't be here because she's tomorrow. working. It's her birthday tomorrow? Oh, that's amazing. I can't. She was a... So, this is perfect. It's, it is perfect. It'll be a birthday tomorrow. You can take her. She can meet these two girls. What age is she? She's about the same age as these girls, probably. She's 28. Oh, no. oh, we'll be 28 tomorrow. Oh, I, you must moisturize, girlfriend. So, <laughs> so that's great. She's a little, little older than the girls. But, you know, you all get together. You'll, you'll talk. It'll be laughs. You can say things. Fun. You can tell them all about Chicago. I will. I know you will. <laughs> America together, one meal at a time, everybody. <laughs>
Anderson. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. I have to say, I am also, I am also delighted to see you, ladies and gentlemen. Inside, I am cheering in a phony way too. <laughs> I've just caught sight of my outfit here that I'm wearing. I really like it. I'm going to wear it again at some point. You should. You should. Yeah, I think I'll wear it on Monday. The in June, and a Monday in June sometime. I'm going to wear this. Look out for that, internet people. Wait a minute, he was wearing that before, but he looked younger by, by about uh, an hour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes. It is uh, actually some... It is breaking news here in Los Angeles. This is true. I just heard about this. Do you know about this? That they've actually, the LA Clippers have been sold. Yes. I know. I also don't really care. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, okay. No, they have been sold for $2 billion. Ah, and I got your attention. Yeah. Donald Sterling, he paid only $12 million for them. And now he's got two billion, but the deal is very uncomfortable for the former owner because it puts him in the black. <laughs> <laughs> you see right there? Yeah. You see right there? Because he's a racist. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's because. It's because, you know, he's a racist. Yeah, I got it. I got yeah. it. You know, I said it because he's a racist. I wouldn't have said it just, just for nothing. No, no, you wouldn't say he puts him in the red, you put him in the black, it's a whole thing. I got it. I <laughs> You know, I, I think, though, if you have to explain the joke, sometimes it's not really a joke. Well, that's what we're all about here at this show. <laughs> Look, we just want you to be able to get to sleep without feeling threatened. <laughs> I think I heard a noise downstairs, though. tossing and turning in your bed and you can't sleep hot and sweaty and smell a bit we're here to hold you to snuggle with you we're right behind you tickling the nape of your neck we're under the bed right now all right that's enough i've creamed myself out Anyway, never mind that, because other sports news, you know, the, it was the final of the Scripps National Spelling Bee were today oh, as well. Yeah. yeah, I just watched the whole thing. It was, it was fantastic. <laughs> I love the spelling bee. It was a real nail-biter this year. Congratulations, 12-year-old wise-ass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> uh, let me try and use that in, in a sentence. Uh, wise-ass, uh, W-I-S-E-A-S-S, -S -S, wise-ass. Like, you are a racist wise-ass. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> wow. What? Very good. That was very good. Thank you. Yeah. You win. <laughs> Do you know that President Obama had lunch with Hillary Clinton today, and Hillary told the President, uh, you know, after phoning my top advisors, I think I'll run for office. And the President said, I know, I listened in. <laughs> A lot of people in Washington were shocked by the meeting, but, I, and, but I'm not sure about Nancy Pelosi, because she looks kind of shocked yeah. all the time. <laughs> Nancy, what do you think? <laughs> what about Putin? <laughs> For him or against him? <laughs> what about you, Jeff? Oh, don't pull that with me. <laughs> I'm doing my impression right now. Oh, all right, okay. It's also a great day for the British royal family. They're going to France to celebrate the 70th anniversary of D-Day. Prince Philip is going to take the Queen in the Channel. 
and then... <laughs> Yeah. You know, sometimes I do it and I don't even mean to do it. I know. I know. No, they're going... <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, they're going to France anyway. The Queen is going in the channel with Prince Philip. <laughs> you ever been to France in the channel? Oh, yeah, many yeah. times, many times. It Take, takes longer than you'd think. It really does. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. Does. Dark in there too, yeah, isn't it? a little it? bit, a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We should really think these things through yeah. before we come out here and just start talking. Always a gamble when you Always a show. gamble. Well, that's live TV for you. All right. Oh, well, you know, it's a uh, same day TV. Same yeah, day TV. Right. Same day TV. Same day TV. Sure, yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, the other late night shows, Jeff, are they are they live? No, please, no. <laughs> I'm trying to distract you from me saying that thing yeah. about the Queen. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, it's time for commercials. And so if you watch these excellent commercials, <laughs> Perhaps you'll forget what I just said. At the start of the show, these three uh, ladies who oh, were on yeah, the sure, they sure. lovely? Weren't they just Beautiful lovely? Ladies, yeah. It's really nice. It's nice to have nice people around for a change. Yeah, it's about time, you know? Yeah. So often we pick people out of the audience and they're so rude. Awful. Yeah, but that woman was lovely. She was telling us about her daughter. It's her birthday tomorrow. It's her birthday, yeah. I know. Oh. Yeah, I this is just perfect. You could go for perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Craig is still talking, but only dogs can hear him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Don't change the channel. It's tweet mail time. Listen. Listen. Yeah. Listen. It was a genuine mistake. <laughs> Often when you go to the channel... <laughs> no, no, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> what? It was a genuine mistake, man. <laughs> All right, uh, play the jingle then. Go on. Here come the players. They're so fast. Up all night and feeling lonely. Making lots of macaroni. Truck your fork and get right to it. Craig's alarm to see you through it. Oh. Tweets or emails, we don't care. Both, so don't use your fingers, use your toes, use your boobies. I've got those. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Emails. All right, uh, this is from uh, somebody. Who is this from? Uh, uh, this is from Cameron in Alberto, uh, Alberta, Canada, not Alberto. 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 Yeah. Alberto. Is there an Alberto in Canada? Yeah, I don't sure. Think so. Yeah, no, I. Uh, no, Alberta, but not an Alberto. Oh, no, I knew Alberto. Oh, uh, oh I was thinking of Alfredo. Oh, that's Alfredo. Alfredo. Uh, Alfredo sauce and the Shy Fellas, uh, the shyest band in late night television. There's a whole backstory. I can't go bother through with it. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's just a thing. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right, uh, this is from Cameron in Alberta in Canada. He says, Craig, hi, Craig, I'm 23, and I still can't grow facial hair. What should I do? Uh, well, you relax. <laughs> Don't 
worry about it. You, I mean, what's the big deal? You, you can't grow facial hair. Is that a thing? No, oh, man. Why? You know, calm down. Don't worry yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, what's the deal, man? Well, I can't grow a beard. Oh, no. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's Canada, though. It's cold up there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe a beard is a sign of virility for the ladies. <laughs> is, that, is that how that works? All right, maybe it's a sign of virility for other gentlemen. Thank I'm not you. judging yes, anybody, yes. man. I'm just saying. Well, I don't have any skin, so I can't grow one. And I can't grow facial hair because uh, CBS has a policy that nobody who works here is allowed to have facial hair. <laughs> now, that's not true. But I'm happy to spread that as a rumor. So let's just say it is. Thanks, Internet. Okay. <laughs> This is from Lexi in New Orleans. Oh, we had a nice time when oh, we were there, didn't we? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, man. What was that thing that we ate when we were there? Oh, we had, uh, we had uh, some, some gator stuff like that. <laughs> we did gator? Some, we did some crazy stuff down there. We did some crazy... I got two tattoos when I was there. Two tattoos. Two tattoos. Two tattoos. Two tattoos. <laughs> yeah. I, again, I have no skin, so I wouldn't right. be able to do that. I was thinking of getting facial hair tattooed on my face. Remember that, that time you grew a mustache? You did try oh, to Oh, I did. I grew a mustache once. Do you have a picture of that by any chance? Yeah, there yeah. it is. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. I, yeah, you, if you want to get cat ladies angry, you grow a mustache on late night TV. <laughs> the internet lit up like a, like, like a kitten adoption on a Sunday yeah, in Larchmont, yeah. didn't it? It was crazy. They were worked up, man. They were yeah. so happy. Anyway, this is, uh, this is from Lexi in New Orleans who said, Craig, I can't tell. Do you like One Direction or are you making fun of them? <laughs> are these mutually exclusive conditions? No. No. You can like things and make fun of them. For example, I like my wife, but I also make fun of her a little bit sometimes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like you, but I make fun of you. I like, I like lots of things, and I make fun of them because they, um, because I'm a jerk, I suppose. Sure, sure. That's what we're really getting to here. Well, I think what we're getting to is I had a difficult childhood, and uh, <laughs> and apparently that's a joke. Uh, I had a difficult childhood. In order to compensate, I make fun of everything to mask my pain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I've got nothing against One Direction. I'm not really interested in them. I don't think any of them can grow a beard. I think that's the... I don't think that really matters, does it? Well... I tell you what, you want to see some angry young woman, though, you be a member of One Direction and grow a beard. <laughs> You'll get some hate mail. <laughs> what are their names? It's uh, Harry, uh, Bingo, Tito, Regis, and Cork. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Regis, yeah, that's right. Regis, Regis yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, that's uh, all we have time for until the commercials are over. I'm excited about this particular commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. Yeah. My only guest tonight, my, he's a big time actor, a musician, he smells great, he's fabulous, and he's got great pecs. Great pecs, great pecs. Strong, <sighs> strong. I've known him for a long time. Oh yeah, you're good pals, man. Oh, good, good. We play golf together with other members of show business. <laughs> His latest album, Didn't It Rain, is in stores now. My old friend Hugh Laurie, everybody.
lovely to see you. It's lovely to it's see the you. Only time, the only time I see you now is when you're here promoting your uh, things. <laughs> no, and that's, that's comp be right. It's, it's true, true, it's true. Don't no, we? you used to come round to the house for <laughs> snuggle parties and now you don't. Sleepovers and things. Did we do the joke about the tiny penis? <laughs> no, let's do it now. Oh, uh, oh, tiny penis? Uh, well, I, it looks like the tiny piano. Huge penis. Oh! Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's so that, that out of the way. Uh, well. yeah. I'm following you on the Tweety as you go around the world, uh, <laughs> playing your instruments for the folks and being a well-respected uh, blues musician. It's fantastic. I Congratulations. Must... Why, thank you. I mean, really, it's something else. <laughs> yes, I am, I, am, I am, without a doubt, blessed beyond measure. Well, I do recall when you were making that transition from, you know, grumpy doctor with a limp to, you know... <laughs> That, uh, that you were a little concerned that perhaps people wouldn't, you know, enjoy, you know, because of the... And because there's the other... The, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And it well, went rather well. And, and, and they should... I mean, because I would have been suspicious myself if I were looking at myself. Well, I suppose... Which so. I don't. No, do, I, do, you, no. do you watch yourself on television? No. No, well, I, wa I watch things that I... Ten years is about what I need to elapse before right. I can, bef before the wound heals over, and I can say, "Oh, that was sort of all right. That was that wasn't too bad." Well, you know, you're very good, but only about ten years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's funny that it takes about ten years for me to enjoy yeah. what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I think that was a sort of surreal moment. Though. Yeah. Yeah. We could take a moment if you want. Okay. Do you fancy some music? By all means. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for right. now. Uh, uh, so, so uh, where are you going on your tour next, then? Where are you off to? We are going down the west coast of the United States, and oh, we will yeah. wind up in uh, Mex Mexico City. Mexico City? Yeah, indeed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now I've, never, I've never been to Mexico City. No, I, uh, no, no more have I. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it, though. I, uh, yes, I'm... I'm <laughs> Why wouldn't I? I don't know. I don't no, know. No, no. Don't, 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 don't shout at me. Don't shout at me, Craig. Just, I'm, I'm panicking. Well, when, when, you, when you raise your voice like that, I, it's... Um, no, I think it's, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, no, Mexico would be fine. We've been all over the place. Have you been to Europe with it? You, have we been to Europe? Have you? I don't know. Have you? Oh, you just asked oh, right, me. Right, I asked yeah. you that. Yes. Uh, yes, we have been to Europe. Uh, wait, where did you go then? Britain? Uh, we, yes, we did that. <laughs> Britain, did you go in Britain? The, Britain and the European continent. Oh, very good, yeah. Um, and Russia. We went to Russia. Oh, the, good to get in now before we, fact, the... We, uh, yeah, I know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I was, it was possible to go to Russia. Yeah, yes. Yes. That was when music was still allowed yes. in Russia. Yeah. We, went to, we actually... We played in the Kremlin, believe it or not. The Kremlin? We did. And there was a word at one point that, that Putin, how do you say it over here? Putin. Putin. Uh, Putin. I like to say Putin. Putin. <laughs> that he might actually come down, but he was too busy... Um, Invading the Ukraine? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, people think it's easy. It's not easy. It's not it's easy to invade the Ukraine. Very Many time, people... Very, you know, very time-consuming. You don't all kinds just wander of... in there with a gun. Oh. You've got to... No! Oh, you got a uh, sort of loose ends that have to be tied up because the devil's in the detail. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's probably best he didn't come down then. If yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Why were you in the Kremlin, though? I mean, was it? A, is, did they have a, a, a paying gig there, or was it? A... They, they apparently the Kremlin's fallen on hard times. And they've opened it up. I think you can have weddings and bar mitzvahs in the I, Kremlin now. I don't know. I don't know. I, I suspect a bar mitzvah might Maybe be a little not a bar tricky, but the uh... yeah, yeah. But I, I've been to I loved Moscow. I thought it was a fantastic city. Did you? Yeah, yeah. You didn't like it? Well, he, this is the thing, and, 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 and you, this, it's easy to misinterpret this. I loved the women. Let me explain. <laughs> it struck me that the women were, by and large, smiley, friendly, welcoming, hospitable. Mm -hmm. The men are all putting out this Sopranos vibe mm. of... Uh, <laughs> You know, don't mess with me, seven cell phones on the restaurant table, mm. um, terrible haircuts. Yeah. Actually, wait a minute. 
I've got one. No, but, no, uh, it's but, good. Uh, it's lovely. Um, yeah, it looks nice. You know, and there's a sort of, there's a kind of uh, survival of the f fittest sort of thing going on. Well, yeah, I mean, I thought it was a bit... It's, it's Wild West, a uh, little, li li little bit. yeah. yeah. But I also yeah. thought the women were very nice, too. Very yeah. friendly and, you know, yeah. cheerful. <laughs> Did you, uh, smiley and waving. Uh, yeah. Did you go to St. Petersburg? Yes. Indeed. It's nice, isn't it? Gorgeous. Oh, Absolutely there, gorgeous. Yeah. 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 Again, smiley, happy woman. There is my area. Grumpy cell phone Less man. happy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where else? Do you go to um, Spain? Been to Spain. Yeah, Spain's nice. Spain. Portugal? You ever Spain. been to Portugal? Yes, yeah, been to Portugal. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on. Go on then. Go on. Transylvania. You never went to Transylvania? Uh, no, but we are going to Transylvania. Transylvania? We are going to... Dracula's Castle? To... Yes. We're going to Romania and Transylvania, if that's what it is. If, if that's what it's it part is of now. Romania, I think. Romania. Uh, uh, Transylvania, yeah, I think. Russia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, look, it'll all be Russia in a couple of weeks. It's, uh, yeah, exactly. You know. Exactly. Yeah. I tell you, are you frightened of vampires or um, ghosts? No. Oh, so, really? So if I was to bring out a vampire right now, you'd be like, oh, that's no problem to me. No, but, but, but you wouldn't bring out a vampire, though, would you? Because they don't exist. <laughs> it, that, well, that's, uh, that at any rate is my position. No, 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 no they don't exist. No, that's true, but neither do zombies. Right, and the same rule applies. <laughs> um, so if I brought out a zombie, you would deny its existence? Well, I'm saying you couldn't bring out a oh, 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 yeah. All right. So if you're, not, if you're not a superstitious man, then no, you're not, not. Do you if don't you have would, any. If you to bring out a tiger, that would be a. No, I wouldn't bring out a tiger. No, no. Out a tiger. Because the rhinoceros would go mad if I yeah. brought out a tiger. <laughs> no, I'm not superstitious. I'm quite aggressively unsuperstitious. Really? Yeah. So you don't have any like weird OCD rituals before you go on stage or anything? Uh. uh... <laughs> well. Actually, the, 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 my biggest OCD ritual is drinking whiskey, which is not really. I don't think that really qualifies as a. That's more like a drinking whiskey ritual. Yeah, that's, um, that's more... <laughs> I mean, that's a different sort of problem a, altogether, right? What type of whiskey do you like? Single malts, obviously. Macallan. Macallan, yes. The, the 12-year-old I find mm -hmm. perfectly acceptable. It's been a long time since I had whiskey, but may I recommend the Highland Park if you're after a whiskey? I, um, I believe the Highland Park is, is highly thought of mm -hmm. in showbiz circles. Well, in the circles that I used to move in, which, <laughs> in which whiskey was wildly popular... <laughs> So moving in circles was probably quite common. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that's all we ever did. Uh, yeah, we, Highland Park, very nice. It was the thing. Yeah, yeah very yeah, smooth. No, no. Orkney, it's from, you know. Is it? Mm, mm. Have you ever been up there? I don't believe I've been to Orkney. No. 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 Well, you'd probably know if you'd been there yes. on your tour, or your tour that's been everywhere, including Transylvania, <laughs> where there are no vampires. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just, if I, I feel like I've let you down there, I want you know. Yeah. Oh no, it's all right. Do you, Isn't, you want to tell me vampire. about Santa or the Tooth Fairy or anything? <laughs> yes, Craig. Yes. Well, you were going to point to something. No, else. I just wondered if you had a vampire back there, all lined up for a whole <laughs> vampire number. Um, <laughs> and I've come on, man. It's I've, not I've, number. tonight show. <laughs> Things. <laughs> it's, what? It's, app thing? <laughs> it's me, the strudel robot skin, and the pantomime horse. We don't have surprise things lying around. Oh, you, You're lucky if you get a chair. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you set it up so so enchantingly. Right, right. Like, I can I, I can get you to that point, but you're on your own. All right. From there okay. on. Oh, you weave such a spell. I know. Well, we have to take a break. All right. All right. What now? Uh, just right now. Yeah, just, just you know, stop. I think we should see other people as well. <laughs> we'll be right back when you are.
time. Like, oh, can I be one of them? Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> yeah, but shut up. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with uh, Hugh Laura. Are you still uh, riding motorcycles? Absolutely. You know, I've got a, a bit of a problem with the motorcycles. Perhaps you can help me. Since I had my accident, I haven't enjoyed it at all. Uh, you know, I, I had an accident, broke my collarbone and a few ribs. Yeah. And I, every time I get on a bike now, I'm like, ah, I, I'm, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you think? <laughs> well, it may be, it may be that it's uh, the, the, the... No longer uh, something I can do? It may be, maybe so. I'm sad to say. Yeah, me I mean, I hope, you know, obviously I hope you will surmount any challenge, and I believe that you can. Mm -hmm. um... you, you, you guffawed a little bit at the end of that. You kind of scoffed at your own encouraging words. You said, I believe you can, and then went, oh, I actually don't believe that. No, I find, what I've realised that is that I laugh only when I'm being sincere. <laughs> uh... <laughs> um, I, no, I think you, um, if you can, but only if you want to, if you don't want to. Well, do, I don't know, to, we'll you, see. If you feel like you're... My children are young, I don't want to, you know, have them feed me soup. <laughs> you know what I mean? What has soup got to do with well, it? Well, you know, if I have, if I have a bad accident, it's oh, nothing yeah, against no, soup, you no, know. You, you no, nothing against the, I, yeah. the soup uh, right, manufacturers right. of America. No, no. No, I mean... Because you do not want to mess with the soup manufacturers of America. They are a very powerful lobbying very, group. Very powerful. Uh, you'll notice that uh, every president since Eisenhower has yeah. always come out in favour of soup. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't mess with that. You ever been to Washington, D.C.? Uh, I, I did once have a tour around the White House. Really? Who from? Clinton? Uh, a very lovely woman called Dorothy LeBlond, as the, she was then called, who I That's think is... Clinton's drag name, no. I think. <laughs> <laughs> she was, uh... Ha! Welcome to the White House! <laughs> she was, uh... She's very charming. Mm. And yeah, it was a fascinating tour. And uh, it was... We, and we toured the White House on the day that the sanctions against Iraq, just pre the first... Gulf War. We're about to run out. It was a tense time to be in Washington. Yeah. Uh, it's always a tense time to be actually, in Washington. They're, they're, yeah, oh, there's yeah. always up to something. Yeah. Do you know what I was amazed at when I, because I, I had a little walk around the Senate and met some government people from both sides of the house and stuff, and I thought, I, I was shocked, because I came away from there thinking, these people aren't that bright. <laughs> oh, really? I never, I mean, I seriously had not even thought about that. Many of the people I ran into, I thought, Senator? Wow. Are you serious? <laughs> Congressman? I wouldn't let you walk my... Uh-oh. Dumb! <laughs> no, I mean, really yeah. quite astonishing. Have, have you ever had that experience with a politician? Um, I Putin, don't, for example? I don't... I don't uh, no, I don't know politicians. I don't, I don't mix with politicians. Right, good, probably I mean, for I mean, the best. you know, it's not out of some principle. Or, um, they, they don't mix with me. Well, yeah. um, uh, but no, I, I hadn't. I thought they put on a sort of ordinary, um, you know, I'm just an ordinary Joe. You'd want to go and have a beer with thing, to to, to try and oh, they conceal. Fooled. Me. Oh, they fooled me. No, no, no. They don't feel. They didn't fool you. Oh, right. But I assumed that behind that veneer was some brilliant scheming intellect that could solve all the problems of the world in five minutes flat. You see, I think that's what they operate on, people thinking that. Yeah. But I... So I, they fooled me. Yeah, m maybe. Yeah. Because I think they go, oh, I'm just, I'm not as clever, but I really am as clever, yeah. but it's a double bluff, because they're really not as clever. Right, right. <laughs> which makes it quite a clever double bluff. Well, there, there you are, which makes it clever again, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we come full circle. Don't Hakuna Matata, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's very nice to see you, I have to it's, say. No, likewise. Yeah, likewise. yeah. I'll, you must be... Are you still married to Joe? You are, aren't you? I am. Yeah, that must be a long time now. We are approaching 25 years. Good Lord. Congratulations. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much. You know, I can, rem I can remember when you first started walking out with her. It was a bit of a scandal because she worked at my agent's office. She did, that's Yeah, right. yeah, and then she said, Joe's going out with Hugh Laurie, and we were like, no! <laughs> and now there you are. With that, with that face. Yeah, we know. Uh, well, everyone in Britain was doing that yeah, face yeah. at that time. Yeah, so it that was the comedy, true. oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah no, no, and so a quarter of a century Congratulations. has that's lapsed. Or almost lapsed, yeah. 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 Lapsed? Well, passed by. Yeah, yeah. Was that the... <laughs>
Well, when you said lapsed, it made it sound like, well, that's no, that no, over I mean, with. I, and, no, 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 no. You know, the, the, the pages of the calendar have done Have that. returned, like, yeah, in yeah, the film. Yeah. The, in the film, yeah, the, yeah, the passage of time. Passage of time, you know, growing well, beards, beards, growing beards. The, the tree growing. Trees, uh, tra <laughs> the train going into the channel. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Have you ever uh, have you ever been in the channel? I have been in the channel. I have been, and I love it. <laughs> you will be back to perform for us. We'll be right back to you, Larry. Thank you very much. You are in the cover